Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this very simple torch flame portal system. This was a request from Blend Space Lab. So you need uh, two textures to make this portal system. First one is fire sub UV and the, and then uh, tea smoke sub UV. Both of them can be found in the textures folders of your starter content. So now we are going to create our first material so right click and material and click on material then I will name this fire sub UV then open it up then right click and type in sub UV I mean sub UV sample parameter and go to content browser and select the file sub uv then right click on this material i mean the texture and use current texture then press and hold m and click to it so you get two multiply then connect this to here now we will change the blend mode to translucent and the shading model to unlit Now connect this to MEC color. Since we don't have an alpha channel in this texture, we will use the black color as the alpha. So connect this here and connect this to opacity. Now right click and type in particle color. So we get our particle color node. And connect this to B and connect this to B. So we can change the color of the particle. I mean color of the material from the particle system. Then hit apply and save then right click and particle system then I will name this fire then open it up then go to required then go back to content browser select our fire sub UV then click this arrow so we get our material selected now since this is a 6 by 6 uh, sub UV we need to change couple of settings in the required so go down here to sub uv then change this to 6 and the vertical sub uv to 6 also then change this to linear blend so it will blend between the these images linearly here 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that so now since uh, this is a sub UV image, uh, we have to add sub UV image index. So right click sub UV, sub image index. Then I will change this value to 32. So when the particle starts spawning, this image will be the first image. Then it will blend all its way to the 36 image so this is 6 by 6 so it has 36 images so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 into 6 36 so this is actually 36 so the last image will be this image now I will change the initial velocity to 30 or 40 for the max and 30 for the mean on the C so we get this now I will change the color overlap so I will give a value of 23 3 and 0 so we get this flame like color then for the 1 we will give a value of 0 0 0 so it will so our flame will fade out to black Now we can give an initial rotation like this. Now we will give a light. So you can increase the brightness if you want. Now let's see what this looks like.
so here you can see that uh, our flame is lagging behind and that's because we haven't checked use local space so go to particle system required then use local space now our flame won't lag behind we can increase the postpone rate a bit so change this to 60 so we get a lot more particle system now we will create our smoke so for that we need to create a new material so right click and duplicate our fire sub uv material then i will name this to smoke then open it up then select the smoke sub uv then right click and use current texture so since this have a, since this has an alpha channel we will connect that to a so we get this now go here and emitter and duplicate emitter and select our smoke sub uv then go here then click this so our smoke sub uv gets selected so now i will change the sub image horizontal to 8 and vertical to 8 uh, since this is an 8 by 8 sub uv so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now for the sub image index i will change this to a value of 63 then i will increase the c velocity to 80 and 60 and i will change the color to 0.1 and 0.1 I think our light is just too bright so I will change the color to 0.5 and one and the light i will delete for the smoke and here i will uncheck use local space so that our smoke will lag behind like this so now it has this unrealistic effect i will change that we can uh, change the initial location so initial location then change this to vector constant then give it a value of 100 25 so wherever you want the smoke to start from so now you can see that the smoke is coming from the top now let's fade the smoke a bit so go to color overlay then alpha and change this value to 0.5 so it is kind of faded out a bit now i will change the initial size so the min height should be 20 20 and 20 now we can give a constant acceleration to our smoke so acceleration constant acceleration in the c direction so 50 
so if we uh, need to fake a wind effect on this smoke we can change the initial velocity and change the y velocity to 30 so it kind of moves in this way we can also do that with the acceleration so change this to 20 So there you go, uh, you can also um, decrease the um, length of this flame if you want. So to do that, uh, you can go to Intel Velocity and change this to 20 and 10. So now you have a flame like this. So we might need to lower the smoke. So go to initial location, then I will lower it down like this. Yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching guys and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks.